Oh, the arts. They're a place where you can uh, relax, get up to date on things that have happened, be inspired. This is Art Basel in uh, Miami over the weekend. That chaos was happening. Uh, someone was getting milked, I think, in front of everyone. And there was an auction, something like that going on. Before I explain it to you, uh, the folks that were there running Art Basel uh, said this isn't a planned exhibit. So they kicked their asses out. <laughs> Check that out. No, it's all Kicked out immediately. I thought this was art. Is this not art? If you could hear, that's what they were screaming at some point during that. Here's a couple details. Fine, I'll let you guys in on this. This wild display went down over the weekend during Miami Art Week when contemporary artist Una performed milking the artist with Lori Baldwin. There's the woman in the white in front of a huge crowd. That display began with the two artists shouting about fetishizing and fetishizing the female breast before Una began to squeeze milk out of her breast. We gotta say from TMZ, it appears they use a prosthetic for that uh, for that exhibit. But the artist tells us they are as real as you want them <laughs> to be, which I think might have been confirmation of uh, the prosthetic nature. In fact, this picture will show you as well. Uh, they were fake, but they were. She was lactating something out of <laughs> out of the prosthetic into that glass that they then auctioned. Well, I think you heard a bid of two hundred thousand dollars, which I'm sure that person did not have to pay. But still, it's art. Right, um, so a little bit more at this because um, you, as, as I point out, they were shouting, is this not art? And also um, they were shouting out bids for people to purchase it because this is an art, this is the way things go. I wonder if they're trying to make a different point and I'm just not art, artistic enough to get it. But they did break it down maybe. Here's a tweet from Una last month in preparation for this event. I think she was giving us a head nod of what was gonna go on. She said Una makes the art her story, her story with milk. Cement performance during Art Basel Miami in 2022. You've heard of play to earn, but you've never experienced milk to mint. They're so artistic. Is the is, is the breast uh, utilitarian or sexual? What utility do your NFTs really give you? They're challenging all of these thoughts that everyone has. Here's another hint, because uh, again, the woman Lori Baldwin, who was auctioning uh, off the milk in the white uniform, in the white uh, outfit there, she took to Instagram beforehand and said this. All that thing promoting it. And she goes, Baldwin stated in that uh, in that post, milking the artist, aka milk to mint, was an exploration of feminism, speciesism, and milk. Viewers are supposedly invited to milk the artist. In order to pay her, though, you have to milk her. Uh, if and only if you milk the artist when you and when you can own her artwork. Because don't all these art fairs already milk the artist? Is what she asked. I think the point is coming clear. Are you picking up on it, Burbank? Uh, you know, I, think you I, are. I, I don't know if this is uh, if this is my thing. Listen, them saying <laughs> they're as real as you want them to be is hilarious. That's like such an artist thing to say. Like reality exists within the bounds of your perception. Like mm -hmm. it's very new agey. This whole thing is weird. What is a basil? I looked it up. It's just mm -hmm. a city in Switzerland. It's not even a thing. Like art basil. Just two words they put together that sound cool. I am convinced. They were sitting around the table. They're like, what do we name this thing? All right, how do we make it popular? We'll invite all of the biggest TikTok influencers here who have zero appreciation for art, but we'll invite them to a bunch of parties in Miami. Then they'll make TikToks about their trip, free promo for this event. This ridiculous situation, I did not even see on TikTok, but I'm really glad we're covering it here on the watch list. <laughs> Get the message, but like there are so many different ways you could have gone about that. It's a little well, weird to me. Which message? Because this, this is the question about <laughs> maybe maybe uh, breastfeeding in public. People think it's oh I can't believe you 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 would do that. That's disgusting. It's so sexual and like bro, this is feeding my child. Is that point? Then is also the milking of the artist. Maybe she's sick of artists getting screwed over by people that have more money and influence and take people's art and make their own money off of it. Once they get a glimpse of it, maybe at something like an event. I don't know how the art world works, but I don't think they're very happy with it. But they are artists and they're making a point. The second point though was. Get the hell out of here. Um, I don't know. It's the, <laughs> I appreciate the it. I would get the breastfeeding point if they weren't putting it into a shot glass. <laughs> I think <laughs>
think it was a uh, was it a, a a a flute? What is this called? The um a champagne flute, maybe? Maybe oh. For that's so weird. Is maybe. the baby drinking out of the flute? Like this <laughs> is a statement about breastfeeding. That's by the way, way, hey, this was brought up yesterday in the meeting. Um if we're talking about how the breast either it's a utility or is it a sexual a form? You notice, even though it's a prosthetic, what did we have to do? It's blurred. Mm. 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 If I'm feeding my baby with with a hand and a spoon, is that blurred? I don't think so. Ah. Una's got you thinking. Una's got you thinking. Uh, there was one more piece about this though. I'm really excited about this part. There's one more part about this thing that's happened because of art. There was an ATM at the same event. And this was going on, I had no idea this was Art Basel. Uh, uh, imagine if you're at this and check out the screen on top of this ATM that's taking pictures of anyone who uses it and what they're displaying at Art Basel. Watch. <laughs> That was a fully functioning ATM that publicly ranked people based on how much money was in their bank account. So there was a guy sitting on top who was frozen, sitting at out nearly a million, I think it was several hundreds of thousands of dollars. And the list just keeps rolling. So my first question then was, who the hell keeps using this ATM? <laughs> Cuz that's just like a, that's a promotion for a meet me outside or I'll catch you outside. <laughs> At some point, um, the question then becomes: Do you follow these folks, or do you become friends with these folks? <laughs> yeah, right. The person I saw who's at the top there is Diplo, who made a whole video about how he was the one with the most money and like posted it online. And notice, I only saw white dudes, like white dudes over thirty, who are using this. They're like, yeah, let's see who has the most money. What a fun competition. Would be hilarious if the people responsible for this installation were actual robbers. That would be really funny. Now they've got your picture and how much money you have. Like they know what valuables you have in your hotel room. They're all probably staying pretty local. They can follow them home. I mean, it's really a brilliant scheme. Yo, don't give Jessica Burbank any idea. She's from the streets. She knows what's going on. Rob at everybody. <laughs> maybe, maybe it'll be at Art Basel next year.